Today I'll be walking through making a bug screen for the sliding side door of my very small camper van. The screen will allow me to have the side door open for ventilation without letting any mosquitoes in. Step one is to make a pattern for the opening. I'm going to use this piece of old bed sheet and hold it against the metal of the door frame with these magnets. I want a good close fit with the magnets holding it right alongside the rubber door seal and following the shape down the side. Once I had it in place, I went back around and made sure it was as snug as possible and that the magnets were evenly spaced. Now I can start marking the edge. On the door side, you'll have to get a bit creative to mark the line, but it can be done. Next, I also need to mark the placement of the magnets. And I also want to mark the valley behind the door seal. This will be the line where the edging will be sewn to the netting. The bottom edge is trickier, as the netting will have to be kept out of the door mechanism. There's no metal at this edge, so I'll have to come up with a different solution. But I'll mark the edge of the footstep now, so I know what the maximum length can be. I wanted the netting smooth and taut, but I noticed that when I close the door, the handle on the inside pushes into the netting. So after carefully closing it, I will mark the new edge and the new placement for the magnets, making sure I know which is which. So now I have my pattern with all of my edges and magnets marked, including the adjustments I made for the door. So I can spread out some more of the same no seam netting that I used for the back windows. I'm going to add wide bias tape all the way around the edge to have a place to sew my magnets. I'm going to cut the netting half an inch wider than my valley lines. That extra half inch will be folded into the bias tape when it is sewn on. After I've pinned all the tape in place, I'll do a first line of stitching to attach the tape to the netting. Once that's done, I can transfer the magnet placement to the bias tape, making sure they're as symmetrical as possible. I'm using one half inch rare earth magnets. I did a test with smaller ones and they didn't hold well. As I'm sewing the bias tape edges together, in order to make the pockets to hold the magnets, I stop as I get to each mark, turn and sew the first side of the pocket. Then turn and sew the edge some more. Then I slip the magnet in and sew the last side shut. I use a zipper foot to get as close to the magnet as I can. Then I continue to sew along the edge. So now I have most of the screen complete, time to test it and figure out what to do at the bottom. I've marked the bottom edge again to be sure I have it right. And I think I have an idea of how to do the bottom edge. Okay, I've made a sort of big envelope pocket thing with this green plasticky outdoor fabric, which will make a kind of flat door sill at the bottom. To sew it, I used the very loosest stitch on my machine so as not to weaken the plastic along the stitching line. The next challenge will be turning it right side out. A good trick is to use a chopstick to get the corners all the way out. I don't want to cut the netting yet in case I change my mind about how to finish the bottom edge. So I'm just going to fold it up to fit it into the pocket. It's very difficult to make marks on netting, so I ran a line of stitching across the netting to mark the edge where the door sill will go. Now I've sewn the envelope closed. I didn't try to film it because it was super hard to keep the netting in place and the multiple layers of the plastic fabric were almost too tough for my machine. Now we'll go set it up on the van. For storage, it folds up neatly around the green edge, but the magnets need to be convinced to let go of each other. I marked the top corners by sewing colored lines so I'll know which is which. Green for go goes towards the front of the van and red towards the back. 
The magnets click into place along the metal edge of the door frame, and I slip them as close as possible to the door seal to be sure they don't interfere with the locking mechanism. It can go on either side, but the straight edge has to go in the front and the shaped edge in the back. So for the bottom, the stiff plastic edge just lays flat on the doorstep. Its own weight and size is enough to hold it in place. Plus the bottommost magnets don't leave it much play. So far it works well. We tested it out this weekend and found it blocked the mosquitoes, even enough to sleep with the door open, and I was able to install it from the inside of the van. It obviously takes more fiddling, but it's a nice bonus. I just made the one, because that way I can leave this one on and go in and out the other door. Thanks for watching, and feel free to subscribe if you want to be notified when the next video comes out.